If you need to have a successful exercise of penetration testing, you need to have a plan in place. Now we're going to talk about the phases of a successful penetration test. And they are actually, genetically, are five phases. Because on the internet and on many different resources, you can see that these phases can be five or six, more or less. The first phase is called reconnaissance, then scanning, then exploitation, maintaining access, and then reporting so in the first phase which is the reconnaissance actually the attacker tries to gain information about the target this approach can be active or passive the attacker tries to have a blueprint of the security profile of the target whether it's an organization a person etc so it involves gathering information about the network that we are attacking and attempt to create a profile of the organization's networks systems and applications. Some of the most common tools used in the reconnaissance phase are the who is utility or smart who is and the NS lookup. You can as well use open information which is available on the internet such as the contact names of the company, available phone numbers, email addresses, locations and branches, even the partners that the company has relation or deals with. You can as well check the news, about some mergers, acquisitions, the website of the company is very important, some links on this website which might take you to the company's policies and procedures. So it's utilizing the open source data available. The second phase is scanning and here our goal is to discover the open ports, the available access points, the operating systems that are used and to uncover the services available to us. The second phase is the scanning phase and our goal here is to discover the open ports, access points, operating systems and uncover services running on these ports. Our goal is to perform some external and internal scanning, ping machines to determine network ranges and to come up with a profile of the individual systems. Some of the common tools used as well are the ping, traceroute, superscan, netcat, nmap of course, and others. Enumerating is an important aspect of this phase. The goal of enumeration is to paint a fairly complete picture of the target. So to enumerate a target, a tester tries to identify valid user accounts or poorly protected resource shared some using directed queries or active connections from the target. The type of information sought by testers during the enumeration phase can be usernames, groups, some network resources and shares and applications. Some of the tools used in this phase or subphase as we're talking about enumeration are Active Directory lookups to uncover any vulnerabilities in users and groups, discovering the NetBIOS name with NBT scan, we will see this in the upcoming videos, using SNMP util for the SNMP and employing Windows DNS queries along with establishing some null sessions and connections. The next phase is exploitation here the actual penetration takes place i didn't list the tools because they are all the tools available on kali linux as we saw before in the videos maintaining access is to make sure that we still access the target the last phase is reporting which is the most dreaded part it usually contains an executive overview and a technical summary but we need to get used to documenting our work and findings it's the only professional way to get the job done.